This is so weird because my hair like perfectly matches my shirt right now. <laughs> really, Joe? Hang on, my dog has to go outside. Hey guys, it's Betsy. So today I'm bored. I should be doing a lot of things right now that don't include making this video, but I thought that I'd make this video called 10 things that I do when I'm bored. This can be things that you do when you're bored or when you're procrastinating doing something else that you should be doing, which is me right now. Let's get started. I guess the first thing I do when I'm bored is YouTube. So whether that's making videos, editing videos, something along that line that's like more creative, or if it's just like sitting down and watching YouTube, like looking for new videos, looking for new ideas of stuff to do, YouTube. But I'm pretty sure that's like everybody does that. You don't need me to tell you to like, hey, when you're bored, go on YouTube. That's so fun and new. You don't need me to tell you that. So another thing that I do when I'm bored, especially if it's like earlier in the day, if I haven't done my makeup yet, I'll do my makeup. Or if I'm procrastinating something, like going and doing my makeup, sitting down and like focusing on what I'm doing with my face is just relaxing and it's exciting. Now normally I'll do something a little bit more like intense than the look I'm showing you right now if I'm bored. But Monday through Thursday I have work and I have work today and I just really didn't want to go into work with a crazy amount of makeup. Thing that I work at a gym, nobody wears makeup so like it doesn't really work out that well. So I just did a simple like everyday makeup look and that was it. But if you just really take time and take care of yourself and pamper yourself you'll feel better about yourself and it'll make you want to be more productive later in the day. I feel like once I'm dressed and I have my makeup on, like I'm just ready to start the day. But also if you're bored throughout the day and you haven't done your makeup yet, it's a fun thing to do that takes up time. So if it's breakfast or lunch or even dinner and if you're like home alone or you have to make your own dinner, make something fun for dinner. Like actually do something. Make pancakes, make yourself some like scrambled eggs. My favorite thing to do when like I actually want to make myself a meal is avocado toast with scrambled eggs on top, like scrambled eggs with spinach. It's so good and you feel healthy afterwards. Like make yourself a good healthy meal if you're bored. It doesn't even have to be healthy. Honestly, make yourself some pancakes with chocolate chips, but making yourself something so you actually have something to do is a great way to use up your time and feel like you're doing something instead of just like sitting down binging. TV. Not that watching a ton of TV isn't okay, like I think everybody does that all the time, but you don't always feel good about it afterwards. So yeah, you're like, wow, I finished a whole season of a TV show in one day. You don't feel good about that. But making yourself a good healthy meal that you can eat while you're watching TV is, it, it's a boredom buster. Another thing that I do when I'm bored, so I think this is number three three, probably number three, is paint. I really like to paint. I painted this over here just a little bit ago. This was actually a tester for something that I was doing somewhere else in my room. So this wasn't actually supposed to be like a piece that I hung up in my room. I just took an old canvas that I had painted something on it that I didn't even like and I was testing out if I wanted to do like a big piece with this design or this design on it. But then I realized that I actually really like it. I think it's super cute like that. I like how it's not completely centered. It's kind of off center. Anyways, painting. Very fun. Also relaxing. You're getting rid of your boredom and you can watch TV while you're doing it. Just saying. Another thing I like to do when I'm bored or even just like stressed out is reading. Reading like a good book is so relaxing. It takes you out of your own world and it's really nice. I'm sure you have so many books in your house. Like, I know I do. My bookshelf is completely full of books. And I'm pretty sure I haven't read 50% of them. And when you're bored, just work your way through your shelf. When I'm bored, I love going on Pinterest and just, like, dreaming about my perfect bedroom. Right now, I've been working on, like, trying to make my bedroom more to my liking. Sorry, I need to play with my dog because she's needy and a baby. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry. So going on Pinterest and like looking through different designs and things that you can like realistically do with your room is a great way to like cure your boredom. I've made a whole Pinterest board about what I want my bedroom to kind of like overall look like, just the vibes and stop, the overall vibes and theme that I want. And then it gives you ideas for things that you can like put into your room. Maybe, 
Maybe things that you already own can help you make your perfect room. Along with like dreaming about redecorating your room and like Pinterest vibes, I love going to the thrift store when I'm bored. I absolutely love thrift shopping. And even if you don't wanna buy anything, looking through the clothes and just finding like unique old pieces is so fun. Looking at furniture, especially like old furniture, not like vintage, but just like old furniture and old knickknacks and things that people had and donated to the thrift store is honestly really fun. I enjoy it. It's fun to do with friends because like, I don't know, you can talk to somebody about the pieces and I just enjoy that a lot. Since my dog is right here and I'm thinking about her because she's making me think about her, another thing you can do when you're bored if you have a dog is train your dog. There are so many cool things dogs can do. So like I have, I'm training my dog to be a service dog. So there's a lot that I need to work on to train with her. But even when it's not like service dog things, just teaching her different tricks is so fun. She loves doing different types of tricks and things. Um, here's a little video of me training her and my other dog just doing fun little tricks that they know how to do. She was tired at this point, so she wasn't doing everything that I asked her to do right when I asked her to do it, and she can do a lot more than this, but it's really fun to train your dog and learn something new with them. It creates a bonding experience for the two of you. And yeah, it's exciting. It's just really exciting to work on training your dog. Um, it's also frustrating, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Your dog's not gonna be perfect right away. They're not gonna know exactly what they're doing. If you guys want me to like make a video about dog training and training your dog, I feel like I know just a little bit about the subject and I'd love to share whatever knowledge I have with you guys. So let me know if you wanna see that. Something that I tend to do when I just have nothing else to do, I'm tired of going through social media, like it's just gotten boring at this point or I'm not getting the kind of positive vibes that I want to. Maybe I saw something that hurt my feelings. I don't know. But I like to go through my camera roll. I'm sure I'm not the only person that takes a ton of useless pictures. Or when I'm trying to get a good Instagram photo for myself, I take a ton of pictures or have the person take a ton of pictures for me. And then there's just a bunch of stupid pictures of me looking like an idiot. So going through and clearing out your camera roll, like deleting all of the photos that you don't need, because I have a phone that has a lot of storage, so everything just builds up and I never have to delete anything, but going through and deleting things so that when I'm looking through my camera roll, I just see like the good memories and it's easy to get to things. That's a good thing to do when you're bored. It's like in your room. You kind of need to clean your phone every so often. Speaking of cleaning your room, number 10, the last thing that I like to do when I'm bored is clean my room, especially like listening to a podcast or commentary YouTube, I think is so fun. Maybe fun's not the right word. It still work because like you're cleaning your room, but especially if you're procrastinating doing homework, which is me right now, cleaning your room is a great way to do that. Again, you're feeling productive. Your parents are gonna be happy because like your room is cleaner than it was when you started. So even though you're not doing homework, you're still doing something that's gonna make your parents happy. And when my room is clean, I personally, like my mind is less cluttered. I know that's like a thing. When your space is cluttered, your mind gets cluttered. So it makes it easier to do your schoolwork when your room is clean, at least in my opinion. Yeah, cleaning your room, listening to a podcast, getting like something in your brain. It can be stupid. Um, it can be like a stupid podcast, like Cody Co. I've never listened to his podcast, but based on his videos, like I doubt you're learning much from his podcast. Or it can be like some sort of like motivational, devotional, like anything kind of podcast. And then you're kind of getting like two in one. So yeah, those are 10 things that I like to do when I'm bored and I hope this helps you next time you're bored. Um, let me know in the comments anything that you guys like to do when you're bored. Like help other people think of new things to do when they're bored or help me think of more things to do when I'm bored. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!